Hey guys, what's up? I'm Magic Bard, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the big head effect um, that you see right here with our actor Ben Conlin. Um, and you know, it's a relatively easy effect. It just uh, takes some time with tracking and that kind of stuff to get it right. So I found this one in a couple of music videos. Um, ones that really came to mind were uh, the older Chitty Bang Opposite of Adults music video, um, which is kind of something we'll be emulating here. And then of course the g Easy Guala Guala, or just Guala music video, where you see their uh, big heads attached to uh, smaller body so you know it's a cool effect you can go pretty advanced into it I'm gonna show you a quick way or a quicker way of how you can do it on your own without a green screen and um, yeah let's get into it so let's get our footage right here I've got mine and um, bring it into a new comp and as you can see I shot this from a low angle to kinda show you guys the big head effect a little more pick the part of the clip that you want to use so I'll find uh, where he gives us the thumbs up okay right there and um, we'll start it here I pressed B for the starting of my work area and then N to end it and then what I'll do here is right click and then press trim comp to work area which will cut this out and make it my whole work area right here for us and so the first thing we want to do is track our guy's head try to find a good spot that's in the whole video and for me I'm thinking um, probably the nose the nostril and so what we'll do is track motion make sure that your clip is selected press track motion and then we will bring this guy up to the nostril and I say that because um, you want to pick a position on your frame or clip that has solid contrast. So we have um, a dark black nostril and then his skin. So it should be easy to track at about that point. And so what I'll do is bring the playhead to the beginning, place my tracker on there, and you know, fit these up I mean it's it's pretty good as it is right there and then I'm gonna press this button right here which will analyze uh, my whole clip forward so click that let your clip analyze and watch the tracker see if it comes off and good so you know like I said that was a good point it has good contrast so the tracker stayed on it looks like yep and um, yeah we're good to go so then the next step is to go into layer new null object and then we are going to pair this tracking data to the null so select edit target on your tracker and click on or just make sure it's on your null so press OK and then you're going to apply this data boom so now we've got a null that's this red square and then it will have all the tracking data. If you press U, you can see the keyframes for the position that it made. Okay, so that's great. Now we've got the track on his face. Next step, we want to cut out his head and then make it larger. So what we do for that is select our clip and then let's uh, close this guy for now and then hide it um, so it's not in the way. And what we'll do is create a mask of his head. Now we can use the pen tool and cut him out and then, you know, do frame by frame editing, which is essentially, I mean, that's the best way to do it. Um, you'll get the best edges, but it is frame by frame and you're looking at a very, very, very long process. So let's shorten that up by using the roto brush tool. And what we'll do is double click on your clip. Okay, so we bring that up and then you'll see this little plus sign with the green in it and um, that'll let you paint on where you want a roto okay so I want his head so I'm gonna paint make this little selection and you'll see these purple or pink lines around him telling you that this is what you're selecting now I don't want his neck so I'm gonna hold down the alt key and then just put some red over where I don't want it to 
mask. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, solid, solid, solid. I like that. Now, um, hair is obviously really tricky. As you can see, it's missing some strings of hair right here, right there. Now, what you can do for that, and then his beard is going to be a tricky one as well because um, he has some little whiskers coming out on the sides, as you can see. To refine that, there's a tool called the Refine Edge Tool. Now, you're going to take that, hold down the, com the command button, and then you can drag up and down by holding down on your mouse and the command button to resize the tool and this looks like a good size right about there and then what we'll do is we'll paint over the edges that I want to refine okay now these are like like hair and that kind of stuff is good um, and then I'll show you why so the white is what we're masking out right the white's gonna be a part of his head and then the black is gonna be our alpha channel so that's looking good we're getting some hair in there um, we're gonna do the same on the top of his head to get this hair and uh, let's see what that looks like cool now that looks good now um, I'm gonna go back into here uh, roto brush and I just want to subtract a little bit I'll make this a little bit smaller and kind of subtract that cool and um, yeah that's fine with me okay we're just we're trying to go with this fast and see how fast we can do this now um, we've got our mask all set up all right and then we're gonna need it for the whole duration of the clip now how we do that is we extend this guy all the way to the end and now when we render it out or freeze it as they call it here it will create our mask so what, what I'm gonna do is bring the playhead halfway and I just want to see how it all matches up you know if it matches up because I like to kind of test it out and what it'll do is as you can see it'll start sort of rendering out in this green um, I guess you can call it a status bar it will move over as it renders out each frame one by one so once you move your playhead that's when stuff starts to take action okay and um, I'm gonna check it if it works we're gonna freeze it and I'm gonna fast forward this tutorial so you guys can see what I'm talking about guys we're live and we're looking good um, so this is what it's supposed to look like I like it you like it uh, we're all having fun here and um, let's finish it up by pressing freeze which will lock in this data and make us create or create us our mask and we are back finally all right check it out so we've frozen our mat layer or our, our mask our mat whatever you want to call it let's get back to our composition up here and there's our head cool and you can see his little fuzzies right there we've got the fuzzies in um, and that's all due to the feather tool that we have the roto brush uh, refine edge feathering tool um, so we're looking good we're looking we're making some progress guys now um, let's do this all right we've got our head cut out and what we're going to do is duplicate the layer and let's just name this right now um, head or big head big head and um, this will be our body okay now we want to take the effect off of the body um, go down here in the roto brush and just click it and delete it okay so now we have our body let's fit this back into our composition so we have a separate head and we have a body okay and then we have our null object which is what we're gonna connect the head to okay now we have to stabilize the head and what we want to do is make sure that his head is centered throughout the whole clip and by by doing that then we can stick it onto this null and it'll stay there so what we're gonna do right now is have the head selected and we're going to stabilize the motion first let's bring our anchor point to the nostril of where we want to stabilize okay and this will be very important later on 
So now that we got that, we are going to make sure that this is selected. We're going to click on stabilize motion and we are going to track that nostril, the same one that we did the um, null object on. So we're at the beginning, good. We've got our anchor point there, our tracker point as well, and we are going to analyze forward. And it should stick on because it did before. So we know that this is a good place to do some tracking. And it looks like we are good to go. Now let's apply it. Press OK. X and Y access, good. And um, let's see. And we are, should be stabilized. And you can tell when you see our frame kind of moving around. Um, so that's good. And his nose is connected to the anchor point, which is perfect, exactly what we wanted. Now what we can do is take our big head and connect it to our null. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this little uh, pick whip and then you're just gonna highlight the null, let go, and then you'll see right here it's parent into the null. So once you've got it there, just open up your scale by pressing S, scale up his head, and hey, you've got a big head that is stuck to our null, and our null is stuck to our body so we should be finished with the effect boom boom let's check it let's check it come on load on me we've got that we've got that good we're looking good folks we are looking good I like it um, so um, the other thing is I mean that's basically it guys now you know how to connect things uh, meaning a big head back onto a person or in those music videos I showed you sometimes it would be someone else's head on another person guys this is it this is the effect you've got it down you're ready to do it using your music videos using your videos um, it's fairly simple it just takes a while to do all the tracking to do the roto brushing um, when you use the refine edge tool that takes a lot of computing power so it'll take a while to render um, but you know once you understand the effect um, you can really do some cool things with it and if you look in my example um, you'll see that where is it his thumb gets in front of his head and and how to fix that is all you have to do is bring another body layer on top okay so you take this layer duplicate it put it on top of the big head and then you would cut out his thumb and then that's how you get this look where the thumb is in front of the head okay so you basically you create a mask of the thumb in front of the head and that's how you put stuff in front cool let me know if there's a visual effect you want to know about hit me up with a comment say what up if you want to talk about movies uh, leave a comment I love you know the new stuff that's coming out I haven't seen Fast and Furious I think it's the eighth one um, but I plan on hopefully checking it out soon and uh, yeah guys subscribe to stay updated I'm gonna try and post a few of these every week new tutorials on movie magic or little effects that you guys can do and feel free to follow me on social for extra behind the scenes stuff my Facebook and Instagram are both at magic bard also my uh, snapchats at magic bard too and uh, yeah guys that's all I have for you so I'll see you on the next one